Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy again. I have some great news for you. The Google Calendar interface has now been refreshed and updated and you should see this coming in a matter of maybe a couple of days, couple of weeks. It just depends on what specific settings your admins have selected in their admin console for you to access it. But I just wanted to give you a quick view of it, what it looks like, and I wanted to show you some different things that are going to be different and new. I don't have time to go over all of the different changes. You'll see some different changes coming amongst the next few weeks as well as I'm going to make some small snippet videos of just a change or two just to kind of break up all the changes as opposed to one ginormous long movie. So with that, let's get started with a few things that are going to be different. You'll notice right off the bat, refreshed, a little bit more update, a little bit more modern look to your calendar interface. You'll notice in the upper left corner, that your red create button is gone. However, if you look in the lower right hand corner, you will see a big red plus symbol. And if you click on that, it will get into that details page, which you'll notice looks a little bit different here as well. Some things that you're gonna see that are different most likely it's just going to be the look. Probably the biggest difference is going to be where you can access your attachments. Down near the bottom left corner of my screen, there used to be a field that said add attachment. Now, in order to add an attachment, you'll notice that there is a paper clip that you'll have to select on to add those there. Other things that are going to be different is going to be the all day and repeating piece. Up at the very top, you'll see it says all day. You can select that, but you'll notice to the right of that where it says do not repeat, it will give you an option to click that pull down as opposed to that other dialog box that would pull up and pop up at you there to select your different customizations. Let's go ahead and get back out of this because I have some other really great things to show you. Probably the one thing that everybody wanted to see coming over from Outlook and Exchange was the side-by-side -side view in their calendar. Well, now you've got it. Here's what you're going to do to get your side-by-side -side view in Google Calendar. Go to the upper right-hand corner of your screen and click on the Week button, which is my default, and change it to a single day view. Then from there, go to the left side of your screen and select the individuals that you would like or the calendars that you'd like to see side by side. And now you'll see up at the top, I've got my day of Friday the 20th, but then I can see Trainer 1, Jennifer, and Trainer 2 all side by side, just like you used to be able to do in Exchange. That is a huge piece that a lot of people have been wanting for a long time. Let me just go back to my week view here. Another couple of things that you're going to see that are going to be a little bit different, however, a little bit more useful, is remember when you would just click on your calendar to create an event, you'd get that little pop-up box. Or if it was a meeting that was already there, it wouldn't give you a lot of detail. Well now, if you go to your meeting, like my meeting two that I've got on my calendar, and you click on that box, you'll notice the amount of detail that pops up. And I actually have a little heads up here of you can also. But you'll see within this detail box, it now gives me an option to join my meeting, the video call. I can look in everything that I have here in terms of people that are invited. I can access my attachments from here. It'll even give me my heads up of what have I got selected as a notification. Other things it's going to be able to allow you to do, and let me just get out of this got it piece, is you'll notice in the upper right corner of that box, we can delete the event from here. We can email all of our guests from here as opposed to having to do that from within the invite, but you can also do that in the invite as well. And then you've got these three little dots. Look at the power you have from here. You can now print, duplicate the event. You can copy it to another calendar, publish the event, and even change ownership from here as well. So quite a bit more information that you can do within your invite here. If you do need to edit something, you can click on the edit button to the lower left of the title and it will take you into the details page for you to be able to start working with. You'll notice in the upper right hand corner, you've got your more actions button that used to be a pull down, still a pull down just in a little bit different area. You'll see right below the save button, the RSVP button. So instead of seeing that banner across the top, you'll see RSVP yes. I can change my response from here as well as from that outside box as well. If you would like to add a note to your guests, you can do that just to the right side of that on that right side of the screen where it says add note. We can go ahead and add our note that, hey, we're running late or whatever it may be. 
And then another couple of things that you see here is in your guest list, you will see that you can email your guests from here, just like we showed you a moment ago. And then below that, you'll notice that I have my different contacts. If you hover your cursor over the contacts, it will pull over your contacts information up for you. So that is a really nice thing there. So I have a lot more to show you, but however, I'm going to try and keep this video a little under six minutes, if at all possible. So let's just go back out for another quick moment. One other thing that I just want to mention to you, you'll notice that your labs are going to be gone. They have not included labs in this. So just as a heads up on that, I know I had a couple of my favorites of Hide Morning and Night and Next Meeting. Those are no longer available, so your labs will disappear. So just kind of heads up on that. So with that, I have more videos to come as some different things uh, are added and I'll do some things that are just a little bit shorter videos of little how to so keep in touch with me look at these different videos so that you'll be prepared for when the change happens if it hasn't already done so so with that once again brand new interface a completely new updated modern look refresh to your Google Calendar with some great new features added until we meet again everyone thank you very much have a great weekend because today is Friday this is Gary the Google Guy signing off.